So we need to talk. I'm currently working on a side project, like nothing things to related. It's just a, like a web project. And I won't share the details uh, with this pro about this project, but I, I have had some insights. So I, I'm mainly working with O3 Mini High, the chat GPT, uh, the, like the most recent uh, chat GPT model, O3 Mini High, which is great at coding and logic. But I also wanted to test DeepSeek. Um, so DeepSeek is obviously the free uh, competitor of two open AIs, ChatGPT, and both have uh, the reasoning and the thinking mode, right? Where they can have multi-step reasoning. Uh, it can self-prompt itself and um, it may, like has some shows some initial signs of agentic behavior, solving some problems. And I wanted like I don't trust the benchmarks that are often used by research institutions with a strong bias, right? For instance, OpenAI or also DeepSeek, they have the bias they want to uh they, they want to um uh like have their own models at a higher ranking so obviously with this bias comes like inaccuracy i would say and also like the benchmarks are often consist of toy problems or very clean uh clean toy problems and i wanted to just like just for myself just give some evidence i know it's not conclusive but uh, i just want to give some evidence about real world use of those ais okay so let's get started i basically I want to uh, have a coding competition. I have two uh, models. So here on the left, we see ChatGPT O3 Mini High. On the right, we see DeepSeek. I threw in the query. The query is find all errors and bugs in these HTML files. This is a real world problem, real world coding files. Uh, and yeah, list them as bullet points. I will grade you with respect to how many bugs you find. More is better. And obviously, I also want quality bugs. I don't want like dummy bugs, right? I mean, this is like should be implicit, implicitly inferred by both models. Okay, so let's get started. Both models start. Uh, DeepSeek is already in the thinking mode, shares more of its internal thoughts, which is interesting for me. Uh, OpenAI kind of closes down the internal reasoning. Uh, um, what it shows to us, it I think cleans it more and gives us more like a high level reasoning. So I like this more like this open approach of DeepSeek. Um, and you see DeepSeek already spitting out after one minute, spitting out like the list of uh, bullet points. And uh, after, say, one minute 30 or so, it's done, right? So DeepSeek uh, is definitely uh, faster for this type of query. And it's a real world query. Okay, so DeepSeek is already done, has given me the bugs. And we will analyze the bugs later. Now, uh, ChatGPT is still working. Actually, now let's move on, move on to the end. Uh, like after five minutes, 20 or so, ChatGPT is also done. Okay, now how, how do they, like, what are the better, what is the better list of bugs? So, you know, to find out the better response, I basically um, asked both AI, both AI models, ChatGPT and DeepSeek, to be fair. Uh, I gave it the, this kind of complicated prompts. I have given eight HTML files to two AIs, but obviously I anonymize it. I don't tell both AIs which AI output is from which model so that there can be no bias. Find all errors and bugs in these HTML files. Uh, list them as bullet points. I will grade you with respect. So this is a prompt I gave them initially. Here's the output of the first AI. And then I just copy pasted the output of the first AI. The first AI, now we know the first AI is ChatGPT. Um, okay, then I close it like with this closing quotes and give it the output of the second AI. And then with the, with the, um, with this uh, like, Python like string quotes, I, I, I give it like the output of the second AI. Okay, so I just post both outputs here. And then I have like this closing, like three closing symbols. Kind of, I always do this, these kind of closing symbols so that the AI kind of, it, if it, it, it thinks a bit like a coder, I, like, I always imagine the AI is like a, like a super coder or something, right? So, so I wanted to give it some formatting. Um, so that the AI knows, okay, now this is actually uh, the output of the second AI is now done. Like this is what the second, what's the, what these closing symbols actually tell it. Okay, and then I ask the question, which is me again, the prompter, which AI performed better qualitatively and quantitatively? Give a final table overview of all the found bugs and rate each bug with a score. Did both find the same bugs? Which AI found better and more bugs? Analyze deeply. I gave both of the, like I gave ChatGPT this prompt. And uh, ChatGPT reasoned for one minute, 36 seconds, and gives me the following. Below is a detailed analysis comparing the two outputs. We've compiled all the bugs reportedly reported by both AIs into one comprehensive table. 
In total, we identified 38 distinct issues across the eight files. While both AIs caught some common errors, for example, some errors, the second AI reported many more issues. The second AI, remember, was DeepSeek. So ChatGPT tells me the output of DeepSeek was actually better, but DeepSeek was also faster. And DeepSeek is free, right? Which is kind of insane, okay? So ChatGPT tells me the output of the com com competing AI is better. Below is the final table overview of the bugs, and then we go over of the over the output. And you see, like here in 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 a in kind kind of this index HTML file, for ex for instance, AI one has give, um, given a bug with severity four. So this is what it means. But actually, I don't like this kind of formatting output because it's like very difficult to read for humans, right? Here you see a a one, a two. It's like a SQL kind of table. Right, and not a human optimized table. Like the SQL query, of course, it would be it, like you have this row, uh, but for humans, it's difficult to read, right? Because we want to like compare things. We want to compare the AIs. We don't want to have them like in one huge table uh, and then kind of draw our conclusions from this type of um, kind of messed up formatted data. Okay, but okay, ChatGPT, give me this. Um, and ChatGPT, here the analysis is bug one undefined and bug 19 undefined were caught by both AIs. So two bugs were caught by both AIs. The first AI mainly focused on runtime errors and formatting copy and paste mistakes. The second AI explained the analysis to include security, responsiveness, accessibility, and general maintainability, which is much better, right? The second AI, again, deep seek. So the first AI, ChatGPT, tells me the second AI gave better quality responses and more responses. So in both dimensions, uh, it tells me DeepSeek was better. And this is by ChatGPT. Uh, for quant quantitative comparison, it also tells me like uh, DeepSeek found 24 issues, uh, ChatGPT found 15 issues. So the second AI's output is not only more numerous, but also addresses a, a wider range of concerns. Final conclusion, second AI is better. Okay, now let's put the same prompt into DeepSeek. And you see, like, the completely, is, again, the same, the same prompt asking it to analyze the output of those two AIs and giving me the better. Uh, put it into DeepSeek. Once again, DeepSeek gives me more internal thinking. And then the final analysis, metric, much better formatting output, right? Much more readable for human beings. Total bugs found AI 116, AI 225 or more. So AI 2 is better, clearly. Unique bugs, AI 2 is better. DeepSeek is better. Overlapping bugs is the same. And qualitative comparison, AI 1 focused on syntax error and minor runtime issues. AI 2 identified critical security flaws. So clearly, also, it tells me the same thing told, me, told by ChatGPT that the quality is also better. By, by the DeepSeek AI. And remember, I did not tell it which output is, of, is from which AI. Um, okay, and also like this bug overview table, I like it a lot. They work with emojis and stuff. It's very human readable compared to this table, this huge table by ChatGPT, right? So the output is also, it also looks, looks prettier. It is better formatted for, uh, for, the, for the human reader. Okay, so quantity. A1 AI2 found, so DeepSeek found more bugs, 56% more bugs, prioritized security, and uh, yeah, found better uh, yeah, AI2 won by a significant margin. Okay, so to summarize, speed, DeepSeek is much quicker, 1 minute 30 against 5 minutes. Costs, DeepSeek is, is much less expensive, costs zero bucks, <laughs> it's free actually, I don't have the paid model. Uh, ChatGPT costs 20 bucks per month. Quantity, DeepSeek says DeepSeek is better. ChatGPT says DeepSeek is better. So bo both find like measurably DeepSeek has mo found more bugs. And the bugs, the quality of the bugs were, is higher with DeepSeek. And both models agree on this. Bonus, the formatting like DeepSeek is clearly better. So in all dimensions, DeepSeek won against ChatGPT. Okay, I think this, this should give us th some food for thought, right? Uh, and um, and I'm I'm biased to what ChatGPT. I have to admit, I like I use ChatGPT more often. Okay, okay. So I think this is like what I want, want to tell this this video. If you like these daily AI tips, and give me a like and subscribe to the channel, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks to have you here. Maybe try DeepSeek in the future. <laughs> Bye.